What's up everybody? This is Light Liger, the one and only crypto enthusiast. And today we're going to be looking into Kamado's Atomic Dex wallet, which is something that I'm very excited for the long term because there was a very, very good post on Reddit a couple of weeks ago, which talked about the fact that in future, we're going to have many, many multi-coin wallets, which will have an inbuilt decentralized exchange on them. And I think this will be inherently the way the trading is going to be going into future. At least uh, decentralized exchanges are probably going to be moving a lot more into wallets. We're going to be seeing atomic swaps and things like these. And this is the most convenient uh, the, the way to trade, really, and most secure way at the same time. So let's look into to the Atomic Dex by Komodo. So this is the first time I'm actually recording on my tablet. So there will be a bit of a clunky process. I don't usually, you know, I record from PC and I don't, there's not a PC version for this, but I'm really hoping because I like to do all the trading on uh, basically on PC. And there's a cool uh, pin system that you get to enable in the beginning of the app, which will be adding an extra layer of security. You can toggle it off. And this is currently kind of on very alpha stage, not that many coins available here. So we have Dogecoin, we have Kamado, here's my address. So this is the time when you're gonna be donating some money to me developers. So give me some Kamado guys. <laughs> but moving on, uh, we have Bitcoin, we have Bitcoin Cash, we have Dash, Litecoin, Digibyte here. Gutum, Ravencoin, Axe was just recently added, Veruscoin, and then we have a bunch of side chains which are operating, operating under Kamado, Chainchilla is a good project, Rick and Morty, there's also ERC20 tokens here also, which are supported, and I think there will be a lot more of these added on in the future. There's a news tab there, which allows you to, well, there's not much things here yet, but I think it will be filled up with a lot of stuff in the future. There's also settings tab where you can activate the pin protection. Uh, you have log files here also at the same time. You can view your backup seed phrase. Uh, there's also the terms of service and disclaimer, a lot of text okay and i had to like scroll this to the very bottom in the beginning and i was very annoyed when companies do that but you know you gotta read that stuff so the cool thing about this wallet obviously is not just that it's uh, supporting many coins it's actually an inbuilt exchange so what we're going to be doing here today is going to be doing a couple of examples i'm going to be uh, selling some dogecoin here we're going to be setting out the amount to sell and there's obviously some fees involved and that's just uh, regular stuff when you're operating with dex and sometimes it will be cheaper to do it within dex and sometimes win a centralized exchange and we're going to be choosing Kamado here and here you're going to be saying uh, the prices and the volumes for those orders. And we're going to be using this. And then we're going to hit the trade button, hit confirm. And then the swap will be starting. And the swaps uh, can take around 10 minutes to basically complete. It's not necessarily um, the most fastest uh, way to trade, but I think that has a lot to do with the assets themselves. So if you are trading an asset that has a very high TPS, I assume the cross-chain uh, cross transactions are gonna be a lot, lot faster uh, in, in, in this, uh, basically in this app. And Let's go into making another trade here. Uh, why are we waiting? Because, um, well, there's no reason to basically, you know, you know what I'm saying. So basically, we're going to be selling out some Dogecoin again, but a bit different type of amount. And we're going to be seeing all the orders. We're going to be seeing Ravencoin here. And we're going to be trying this one uh, right now to trade, basically. And what I like about this DEX is that they already have a fair amount of these coins, which are kind of like very crucial and big part of the ecosystem in the top 50. And I believe there's going to be a lot more in the future. And now you can see that there's um, the first one is going with the swap and the second one is pending. So we're going to be waiting again a bit more. And now we're going to be going back to uh, doing another uh, trade just to see, kind of test out like what is the speed with the, each individual trading that goes on. And then we're going to be doing a flat, uh, fast uh, trade on Dash. And basically now I'm going to be refreshing the screen again to... Uh, it took around 10 minutes to get all the transactions verified. Um, 
for each of the trade around 10 to 12 minutes i think dogecoin is not the fastest coin out there so i believe with some of the other chains and other pairings it might be a bit faster process than this but basically i think it's a very nice service it's very easy to do and here we can see all the uh you know the, the trades that went on and the swaps are successful along with the time stamp the time stamps and I, I really, really recommend uh, the app. Obviously, it's still in beta stage. Here we can see the overall balances of Komodo, Qtum, and Dash. Obviously, there are some costs involved. So you gotta count when you're gonna be trading and how much this and this is gonna be costing. And you can always move these funds away to your other wallets in case you don't wanna keep them all in this Komodo wallet. But I think it's a rather secure wallet in general. And in case you want to support me, you can uh, drop some dono uh, donations to me, obviously. And, um, you know, subscribe to the channel. If you want to work with a video project with me, you can always leave me an email. And I will see you guys on the next video when that may be. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.